Hey everybody. Here are some capacitors I poured on my stash of pulled motherboard capacitors that have known to fail. Here I have some, let's see, these Nichicons. This is a per this particular series. I've seen these fail quite a bit on motherboards. I've actually had to recap several boards that had these bulging on top. Because I believe the issue with these is they put too, too much electrolyte in them. Let's see what else I have here. We have some Tipos. These um, Chemicon series. This is a bad series here. G Luxon, Sam Young, some others. So, anyways, those were the bad capacitors. The bad brains, anyway. There's probably plenty more in this thing. I just have to go through and sift them out. Like here's another 6.3 volt, 3300 microfarad Nichicon that I've seen fail quite a bit. So, what I'm going to do is, we're going to have a little fun here. I mean, just tossing these in the trash isn't fun enough when you got a hot wood stove over here on a cold December night. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these in a shovel and I'm going to toss them into the wood stove and see how they behave. Of course, as we all know, all techies know, electrolytic capacitors do not like excessive heat. So, we're going to have some fun here. Turn these capacitors into little firecrackers inside the fireplace. The trick is with wood stoves, you got to have a good hot fire to get the best performance out of electrolytic capacitors. If it's not very hot, they'll just burn. The bones will burn out of them. And this is not, not that special. I, I took a video of blowing up some capacitors in the fireplace. Well, in the actual blow up, they just sizzled out. Wasn't really all that special. But I found out after I threw one batch of capacitors into the fire recently, and all of a sudden started seeing them pop and explode, or pops blowing up and everything. So I figured it was much better off when you got a hot fire. And the reason why I'm being so quiet is he's asleep on the couch, so let's go ahead and grab this little shovel thingy. We're gonna have some fun here. Go ahead and get these capacitors in this shovel. Go back and just toss them right in there. Which of course this is um, the same way I treat capacitors when they actually fail on motherboards and stuff. I pluck them off and they get tossed into the wood stove. Excuse the out of focus range, but anyways, just gonna get these things on here. I mean, what good is you think about it? What good is um, replacing blown capacitors with brands that are known to fail? I mean, it's not very reliable, so. You know, let's just get them out of my repair stash and have some fun with them. I mean, I pluck these things off motherboards all the time, but I got a crap load of motherboards that I still got to go through and get the capacitors off of. Okay, we're ready to go. here you can actually see some of the capacitors I put in here earlier. Kind of hard to see but they're in there. You might be able to see the um, aluminum cans. Alright, let's throw another batch in here. And this fire is hot too, is it? With so it's got the blower fan on which kicks in when it gets hot and the air come out of this thing is extremely hot. So let's go ahead and have some fun. I'm gonna we'll try to get them in there where those hot coals right that's where the best that's where the best performance is. Alright, so three, two, one.
kind of funny if you think about it. This, guys, is how you punish capacitors for being crappy. Just toss them into a hot fire and watch them explode. Now, of course, if you're using an open fireplace, I recommend you don't do this. I only do this if you got a wood stove. Then you can close the door because, you, as you might be, have been able to see, some of the capacitors kind of hit the door on the wood stove when they blew. Anyways, this is the best way. This is the best way to do it right here. And um, have a look here. I see a vinyl one that has popped open. Have a look at that, guys. Focus if you're right. Try to anyway. Uh, and the glass on this stove isn't that clean either, but um, might be able to see we got some vents popped up on some of those capacitors. And they are actually on fire and the, the capacitors are burning. Look at this. The electrolytic stuff and the paper inside the capacitors is burning. Look at the, you can actually see there's like a little candle flame coming out of one of those capacitors. It's kind of funny. For those who don't know, capacitors, electrolytic capacitors anyway, have paper inside of them and an electrolytic formula. And the paper is wound in a very tight coil. And that's why electrolytic capacitors are shaped like cans. I'm going to zoom back out. This looks really horrible. Anyways. That's how you can have fun with bad capacitors. Anyways, had any questions or comments, feel free to ask.